I was actually living in Lebanon when Hezbollah emerged. Remember it very well. I'm one of the few Westerners who ever met Imad Mugnia. Um, I've interviewed Hassan Nasrallah and uh, Naim Qasim. Uh, the one thing that's very striking is that the groups that succeed seem to uh, become more sophisticated. They become political entities. They become economic powerhouses. Hezbollah has survived largely because it, it provides the services that the state didn't in Lebanon or hasn't, or provided only for elite few or certain sects um, in a multi-sectarian society. Um, at the same time, Al-Qaeda, which has also survived, doesn't do any of that. ISIS tried when it was part of the caliphate uh, and in the end was defeated militarily and is back to being you know, an insurgency. So how important is it? And what are the, you know, when you look at the future of this phenomena, uh, what does it take for um, what we consider a terrorist group or the United States designates uh, officially sanctions a terrorist group to help them survive? And what are the dangers to us? I mean, Lebanon was the, most westernized of all the Arab uh, societies. And you know, Hezbollah has changed that, made it much more complicated to ensure the survival of that state. 